Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we're going to be going over uh, the boss guide that I put together for the Ninja Saviors on Switch, specifically with the character uh, Kamai Tachi, who uh, is the only one I've really gotten some solid experience with so far. I noticed that this game had next to no resources on web pages or in YouTube videos, and I figured this would just help a lot of people since I was seeing quite a few who were mentioning how much they struggle with this game and specific bosses, and I, I, I totally know what that's about because there are some really, really brutal fights, and if you don't have the right approach in mind, it can just be where your run ends. So anyway, let's just, we'll start with boss one. Um, if you're not used to using your somersault, <clears throat> please get in the habit of that because you can do some awesome blocks uh, while he's doing things like the boot stomp or what have you, like that you just saw. These little slow motion uh, segments are going to just kind of be all over the place. Uh, this is nothing fancy, it's just a casual guide just to give you a bit of a feel for how to go about these fights. Um, but yeah, you can more or less get your attacks in and then somersault backwards to escape a boot stomp or the punches and then you can do that spin thing and um, those types of aerial attacks uh, while you can and before you know it boom and of course that back attack too or just throwing enemies at them and the tractors that you have access to when the, the fight first starts just things like that and never hesitate to use your your big explosion attack that recharges pretty quickly and you might as well just use it to sp help speed things along okay so for the stage two boss this is a very very simple boss most of the time you can just go right up to him and start hacking and slashing i'll sometimes even just open with that explosion just to do a nice chunk of uh damage right away but yeah you can throw him around a lot uh there isn't much that he does that's very threatening um there is kind of like a forward dash he does right here. But again, somersault and you just blocked all those hits. Or you can just jump right over him when he's doing that. It's up to you. So there are definitely a whole bunch of options. As for the stage 3 boss... <laughs> once this guy's toast um this is a fun fight another simple one though you can start off the fight just by going right up to him uh, again just use your explosion there's no reason to hang on to that when you see him jump like that he's about to dash forward so you can just block and then just hack and slash at him again you can be pretty aggressive when he's on the wall you want to he'll do two throws of the grenades and you just go into the middle, and then as soon as you see the explosion, you go into the middle again. And it's easy to avoid that every single time. You can just walk from one middle space to the next. And then even when he's uh, invisible like this, or almost invisible, it's just the same stuff. So it's pretty easy to deal with. So nothing too crazy with this one. It's mainly the later boss fights that uh, can really get tricky where there's just a lot of either speed in the works or just a lot of crazy stuff going on. So for stage 4 boss, most of the time this whole fight is just about waiting for him to jump down like that and hack and slash, or throwing as many enemies at him. When you see this attack, you just stay away from it. It travels pretty slowly, so as long as you're not cornered against the side of the screen, you're, you're good. But yeah, just tons of throwing. Throwing him around, throwing things into him, enemies into him. Um, there is one attack, you gotta really watch for that, which is in slow motion, uh, because that's a nasty hit. But other than that, you can just wait for him to jump down, it's a very easy fight. So for this one... This is one of the the hardest fights to get a handle on when you first start playing this game. Um, this guy is super fast, he hits hard, and he just is constantly on you. He does not let up. So 
my my method for him is just throwing as many enemies at him as possible. I always like to have an enemy in between myself and the boss, uh, just because. You yeah, like I just want to keep as much distance uh, uh, as possible. Um, you can do things like jumping over that flying kick that he does, or just jump backwards. Whatever you want to do, he'll do his like dash back and forth. So you got to watch for that because he will do it multiple times very quickly. So you might be just swinging at the air uh, when he's already switched sides again. But for the most part, just keep your distance and let your your big attack charge up so that you can fire it off and get as much use out of that as you can. And then you're you're just throwing a lot. Uh, you, you can, if you want to risk getting close and hacking and slashing, you can do that too. I certainly do that sometimes. But for the most part, I, I like to play it safe because of how dangerous this fight can be. So for these two, just do as much damage, hacking and slashing like every boss, essentially. Um, you gotta watch out for the the sliding kicks that they do, though. And same as the stage one boss, use your um, your somersault. But that was an example of how like you can block the thing, but then there's the other guy coming in for a kick. So you gotta be very careful. And again, use that attack and the spinning one on the way down as long as you're not still using a direction uh, if you're stationary when you're falling and you press the attack button i think that's when you just do a, a circular spin um but yeah it's not as crazy as it uh, might feel initially you just got to remember to block as much as you can because those <laughs> those big stomps are devastating at times Each little, each boss has their own, like, slight adjustments and things you need to kind of pay attention to, but once you're in the rhythm, it the fights start going a lot better. So for this guy, he has a very long range when it comes to his uh, swinging kicks and trips and grabs and all that kind of stuff. So I just start off by getting right up to him, throwing as much as I, throwing as much at him as I can. Um, again, just hacking and slashing. Uh, when the robots show up, these ones, use those to your advantage. Just put one of those in between and just throw as many as you can. Um, there's When he does the dash toward you, um, you'll get a feel for like the distance and the spacing you need to do. But it's kind of like right about there you jump backwards so that you don't get tripped. And then you can just jump back and start going at him. But the biggest thing with this is just to stay on him constantly. Every opportunity you have to jump at him and hack and slash, you want to be doing that. Otherwise, things can just go brutal very quickly. So for the final fight, which we're about to get to, the positioning is really tricky. Uh, unlike the other characters, you you don't have the ability to just grab... Uh, it's you have to be doing like throw attacks so that's an example of a spot that doesn't work and i think here's an example of a spot that does so you can either throw it over your back an enemy that is or throw them straight across which we'll see an example of momentarily right there but anything to get the the glass shattering it's it's a really nasty fight because there are all sorts of laser beams, uh, missiles flying, enemies all over the place. Uh, and it just, yeah, it just gets intense. And because you have to be so specific with the positions to get the, the glass broken with this character, it's just, yeah, it's just a wild time. Um, and of course, once you get deeper into the fight, then you have like the ceiling lasers that are firing and stuff like that. So... Yeah, you just gotta... Sometimes you'll just want to use your attack, your big attack, just to clear and have, like, some breathing room, just to clear your thoughts and figure out what you actually want to do next. Um, but yeah.
and you really want to watch that little blue laser because that can just be really rough at times. Like, oh, sometimes you'll you'll just be jumping away to get away from something, but you're jumping into more danger, and it's just, yeah, more damage, and then the run is over. So, yeah, anyway. I trust this has helped somewhat. Uh, I realize it's very short. It's not super official, but anyway, let me know what you think um, in the comments. I trust this helps, and you have an awesome day.